Euro 2020 continues, and after a 23-year break, the Scots are back. Today is the biggest day in Scotland's history. Tonight is bigger than Burns' night. Forget about Landon Donovan's hat trick. Forget about scraping a draw with a Faroe Islands. Forget about Bora and Kazakhstan. And the header is cut in. It is 3 0. Wow, 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 he's a very nice. Forget about me letting Gary Mack take that penalty. Today is the day we finally replace Alistair Murdoch McCoist. Today is the day we finally get Andy Robertson and Kieran Tierney in the same side. Today is the day we run dry of Buckfast. Today is the day William Wallace dreamed of. You may take our qualification, but you'll never take our, our freedom! freedom! <laughs> <laughs> See the things they make us do in here. Unbelievable. It's uh, in your contract, isn't it? You have to was, make yourself look silly. That, to be fair, that was take that 4,387 <laughs> between me and Brazil. Well, I never knew Borat was from Glasgow. <laughs> Honestly, uh, you learn something new every day. <laughs> well, the good news is, guys, you can live on TalkSport from 2pm. You can hear Scotland's return to the main stage. It's been a long time coming. For the first time since 1998, when we take on the Czech Republic at Hamden Park. Yeah, Jim White is doing a special. He's there. <clears throat> he's actually at Hamden Park. He'll be there from one o'clock. So he's going to be building up to all of the action. Really <clears throat> looking forward to hearing him. Ali, this is, I mean, goes without yeah. saying the, the importance of this. Not just the fact that it's the first time you're back in a major, but look at your group. Look at the occasion. This is massive. Oh, it's incredible. It really is. And talking to, to Stuart and yourself, <clears throat> the importance of getting off to a good start. I mean... I can't tell you how important it was for Wales to get that equaliser ahead of a key from Muir. It's mm. just so important not to lose the first game. But if you can win the first game, effectively sets you up. You're actually, in the current climate, the way it is just now, I think there's only six teams don't qualify for latter stages. So mm. if you can, we'll find a way. Never mind looking at we'll find a way not to qualify. <laughs> it's hard not but to, but you'll in find all a way. seriousness, In all seriousness, if you can win your first game, <clears throat> it sets you up. You know, and, and, and you have the, obviously the great potential to go through, whether it's in third place or second place. But I can't, you know, I can't underestimate how important the game is for us. I know the section's extremely tough with England and Croatia, who will be seen as the two better teams in the group. I've never looked further, honestly, God, than, than, than this game today. England game will take care of itself, as will the Croatia, depending on the first two games. Our massive game, our biggest game, is coming this afternoon at two o'clock against a Czech side who are good, are very good, with a couple of players that Stuart knows very, very well, who I've got utmost respect for, and I've had, I've had great seasons, but we have been fortunate enough to, be, I think we beat them the last twice we've played them, it's a, it's a game we can win, if we go about it the right way, we can win, it'll be very difficult, but we can do it. Stuart, those two players that we're talking about, Su Fao and Su Chek, um, you know them so well. You've been just glowing when you talk about them, not just their, their performances off the, on the pitch, but also what they're like around mm. the camp and around training because they're good lads, aren't they? They're everything uh, a professional footballer should be. They're humble, hardworking, low maintenance. They're, they're an absolute dream to work with, I've got to say, and, and that's aside from the ability that they offer. They've come and give, give us a real lift at West Ham, I've got to say. They've been absolutely brilliant and... To be fair, they're really, I mean, I've spoke with him in the lead up to the Euros and whatever, yeah. and, and, you know, they're excited to be part of this, this tournament and what, and the stick that they got from me when they lost to Scotland not yeah. so long ago, <laughs> I mean, David was straight in and patting them on the back saying, well done, lads, you know what I mean? But it's the stick that we give them for, the, for that defeat up in Scotland. With your knowledge of both teams then, and mm. your knowledge uh, uh, in major tournaments as well, who wins this game? I think it's a knife edge. I really do. Mm. I would probably just edge on Scotland. Um, home advantage, I think, will play a big part. But once again, we spoke about it earlier. It's that pre-tournament nerves. That As long as Scotland put that to one bed and use the home advantage yeah. to their advantage, I think they've got every chance of being victors in the game. But it will be a real tight affair. Absolutely. I think, uh, as I say, looking at England yesterday, would you, Piercy, I just look at us and I'm, I'm very, very hopeful we've got... A, 
clearly an, an eagerness to do well but I just think as well we've got a freshness about us that we haven't had for a long long time you know it's guys like Tierney and Robertson McTominay McGinn who haven't played and haven't represented Scotland in a major tournament it's all fresh for them we've got three young lads that are coming into the squad maybe perhaps you know due to the fact the squad's been increased Turnbull at Celtic is a great season Patterson at Rangers had a fantastic season and, and I just think obviously Billy Gilmore at Chelsea said an outrageous end to the season there's an enthusiasm about the squad there's a freshness about it and uh, you know the, the main thing is keeping our feet on the ground being very very positive and listen to Stevie Clark he's absolutely spot on <clears throat> the importance of not getting carried away and channeling all that you know aggression and, and enthusiasm will be so important for us and I think like you rightly say if you get three points in this game another point will see you through yeah. into the next round you know so if you get three points in this one all of a sudden you've got two punts at, at getting a win or, or even a just a draw in either yeah. two of the games and you're in the next stage of the tournament yeah. which is fantastic Carl Evans has tweeted in and he says is this Talk Scotland? Yes <laughs> it is ah. <laughs> and he says only joking but you can get Talk Scotland can't you for the we next can. one Friday night you can listen to that exclusive commentary over on TalkSport 2 entirely Scottish coverage mm. um, I feel like I want to be adopted by a load of Scots today if you're going to the pub because I don't know where to watch mm. it and it's 2 o'clock and I'll be out and about anyway so if you fancy adopting me today um, then let me know 8 10 89 at TS Breakfast that's the only thing a 2 o'clock kick off's a little bit strange mm. in the respect that but on a Monday yeah and the, <laughs> I mean the school kids I bet they're showing it and they've shown it in a lot of the schools and all that stuff and effectively there were a lot of kids just not going to school and things like that you know I remember they did at our school when we played Brazil back in the day like they showed it on a big screen in, our, really? yeah, in our um, assembly room it was amazing anyway and not the result that was a look ahead to the upcoming Euros action brought to you by Trade Point official sponsor of TalkSport's coverage of Euro 2020 Scotland against the Czech Republic live on TalkSport today at 2 o'clock